like, share, and subscribe. Liquid. Thank you for taking the time out to click on Kiara's Love Tarot. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for all the love you show my channel. For those of you who are new here and just tapping in um, and you found my page by a suggestion or even if the video just attracted you by the name, um, welcome to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a like and sit back, relax, and um, hear the video, okay? Also, thank you for taking time to tune in and make sure you listen to this video the full way through so you don't min miss any messages that belong to you, okay? Keep in mind my readings are general. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's go ahead and tap in. This video is going to be about whoever you're dating that is new in your life um, that you feeling or if they're feeling you. How, what's going on in your mind? How did they wake up feeling about you guys? Okay, when I split the deck, we got psychic abilities and empowerment, okay? So somebody um, really loves how you tell the future on things, okay? You might not even be a real psychic person, but somebody really enjoys the wisdom or the empowerment you have been giving them, okay? Somebody feels like ever since they started dating you or ever since they've been in conversation or uh, contact with you, their life has just been going up. Um, this is somebody who takes advice. So you ran into an energy that you don't have to repeat yourself multiple times. When you give them a warning or when you give them advice on something, they definitely take heed to what you're saying. Somebody may have given somebody in a, a, advice for a job or just advice financially and the shit is working out for them exactly how you said it would happen or just period you're giving this person advice or your person could be giving you advice empowering you making you a better person every day and they're just seeing how majestic you are okay also somebody is very comfortable with the fact that you um talk to spirit guys we got the spirit guys here so this is a very spiritual energy i'm picking up this might be a spiritual union i'm picking up on so somebody has met um, somebody who finally all somebody wanted was to meet somebody who re, uh, resonates with them okay who's comfortable with the fact that they speak to their spirit guides or they have abilities that are psychic or you just have a high intuition some of you guys couldn't keep a relationship because your third eye was too wide open you definitely seen the bullshit amount away this ran people away or this chose people to try to beat you up mentally um because you're very wise they didn't like that okay we got freedom so somebody likes the fact that they can be free with you or you like the fact you could be free with your person um this person is really giving you spiritual freedom and if you're not uh, spiritual if you just here for the, the what's going on with your person um this person may think you're very special or they may notice something about you or you may, like I said, just be telling this person things and this shit keep playing out and they're just like, what type of man or woman have I run into? Who have I been blessed with? Because this person is really empowering me. You give really good advice and they're really loving that. They really love the conversation you guys had last night. If you told them anything about spirituality or if you told them anything to empower them or change their life or give them the willpower to move forward. Somebody gave somebody confidence in pursuing a dance career or pursuing a uh, some type of um, technical um, career like working with computers or something. Somebody works for a computer company and somebody gave somebody some wisdom on how to get their business up and running or just how to um, maintain a good business. Okay, so right now, this new person you're dealing with is really loving the clarity you're bringing to their life and the fact that you're very gentle with their well-being. Also, this person um, is co very concerned with your well-being in this relationship. They're not here to play games. All they want to do is bring you blessings or somebody feel like since they've been dealing with you or since they've been listening to your um, clarity coming from your third eye for your psychic abilities for those of you who believe that you are intuitive as well and you can predict the future or you just whatever you say ends up playing out this person is very amazed by you um they're feeling very blessed to have a person in their life Okay, this person just feels like you may have a lot of um, boundaries up that is preventing them from bringing you full-blown happiness. Um, 
somebody also feels like you're not completely truthful or you could be feeling like somebody is completely not completely truthful to you so this is somebody bringing insecurities into the relationship um, or just being very curious about you because you may not tell them a lot about you you may tell them what they need to know about you but you don't tell them everything about you okay um, so this person is uh, very curious or somebody may have caught a either you or your new person so you might have caught your new person or your new person might have caught you in a lie and they're just not speaking on it and it's beginning to make somebody wonder but i just feel like this is a part of you guys having disruption in your life from past relationships okay um also we with this disruption card right here um there could be an energy that wants to cause disruption in you guys' relationships so your person could have an ex or you could have an ex Okay, or the, or you or this person may be having disruptions in your life due to things you guys have experienced that you have not dealt with. Okay, somebody needs to deal with some shit from the past so that it doesn't affect this current moment or affect your future. Okay, we got light. So yeah, one of you guys is turning on somebody's light in the relationship. I feel like because there's a woman on this picture, you might be the person, okay? So if you're a woman um, and you're dating somebody new, or you could be a man, but somebody who's very tapped into their feminine side, um, this could be a woman with blonde hair, um, very short, okay, big titties. Um, you're lighting this person's world up, okay? You're also bringing light into their world. You're also making this person feel like they're the motherfucking person okay they the motherfucking man of the fucking town all right somebody feels like having a beauty like you falling in a lap somebody's really okay so you might it might not be official like you might not be walking around saying oh i'm a psychic but whoever this person you're dating um is how they're feeling about you right now or whatever they're telling people is they got them a majestic ass goddess somebody is literally calling you a goddess somebody um really likes looking into your eyes somebody has hazel eyes or brown eyes okay um somebody's been talking to this person for six months you may have not took this person serious at first and it could now be starting to get serious um get real heavy um this person feels like dating you is a dream you could be somebody's dream woman Okay, you could be somebody or somebody dreamed about you before they met you. So what else is on this person's mind um, about my viewer? What else are they thinking? What else is going on in this situation with this new person, this new energy? We got a great relationship is when you both support each other, okay? So this is somebody who's here to support you, help you pay bills. If you've been looking at this person with a side eye or if they just ain't been showing you, this might be the type of person who ain't coming through the door spinning bread, okay? And this might be a red flag for you or this might be turning you off that this person is not coming straight in. Um, cashing you out for somebody and for some your person's coming straight in giving you money okay but for those of you who aren't getting or seeing certain things that you expect or that you require in a person or that you told yourself the next person better have somebody's person is not coming in throwing them dollars because they've been hurt before they've been played um, or they've had women womanize them uh, no not womanize them they've had women come and only pinpoint their money okay they want to test you um somebody wants to fall in love with your independence or somebody loves how independent you are and um they feel like they got to get their shit together because somebody's person feels like or you might have told your person what can you do for me that i can't do for myself so when you said that you set the you set the bar real high for this person okay so now this person is really it's not that they broke or they don't want to do anything for you it's that they don't know what they can do to um get your approval because like i just said you are a light worker okay you are emanating this bright light in this person's world it's a little intimidating but they're not scared they're gonna stand up pull their pants up uh, somebody really feel like you a goddess okay or a god so dealing with you is like dealing with no other it's new to this person you may have they may have never dating dated somebody with this type of energy before so 
they got to take a different approach, okay? This could be a good energy. This is a good person I'm picking up on. This is somebody who could have, be a little disruptive. Or also, like I said, there could be a disruption on the way to disrupt this connection, like an ex, okay? But back to how this person feels about you, they kind of you kind of intimidate them, but it's not intimidating enough to make them run off because you manifested a mature person this time around. So this is somebody who, when they're nervous, um, they don't crack under pressure. They take it head on, okay? And they want to take you head on. So they're trying to figure out what can they do to get your appreciation or approved, be approved in your world because you're an independent woman or you're an independent man and you can do a lot for yourself. So somebody coming and paying a bill for you ain't appeasing. Why? When you got money saved up already and you can pay your own bills, okay? So somebody's trying to think of how they could gift you. Um, that you're fucking with. We got emotional pain and depression no longer exists. So this person wants you to know that when you're fucking with them, they may have told you this. Fucking with me, you ain't about to know what pain is or you don't know what depression is. Fucking with me. I'm not sending you through that shit because I'm going to keep it 100 with you from the gate. And anything that I'm on, I'm going to let you know. This could be something somebody told you. This could be a conversation um, that's being had or it's going to come up between the two of you. Somebody wants to let you know that they're not here to cause pain in your life. All they're here to do is cause progression. They want to see you progress. Some of them want to help you elevate. They want to learn spirituality. They want to unlock chakras and shit. All right. Somebody wants to grow with you. They don't want, they, they want you to let them, you know, and I know you've told this person, like, look, I done been hurt before. I've heard this before. Um, what makes your word any stronger than the next man or woman telling me this? What make, what, what, why should I trust you? You definitely got this person on their feet. Okay. We got forgive and forget. Somebody wants you to forgive and forget, or your person could be telling you to forgive and forget the past but you probably telling them look i'll forgive but i'll never forget and that's true always forgive always but don't forget it okay don't forget nothing that happens to you apply it in your life so that it don't happen again okay and this may be what this person is not understanding they could be not understanding why you so um militant okay about your feelings why you so stand up about your feelings you don't play about them. um that's not in your nature anymore okay it may have been in your nature in the past you may have been very um slight with your feelings very careless um but you're 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 taking the smarter route this time okay so how is this person feeling overall this new lover how are they feeling overall um for my viewer this morning waking up how are they feeling We got children in reverse, okay? So there may have been a conversation that says your love life is being affected by children. So this person may not have kids and you might have kids or um, your person may not. Sorry, uh, my child interrupted me. Um, your person may not have kids and you may have kids or you may not have kids and they may have kids and this could be a problem for somebody or that may be a scenario like somebody wants kids but the other person already had too many or somebody's tubes is tied or somebody just got too many kids and they don't want kids anymore so this might be throwing somebody off in the connection okay um also, you might notice something about somebody like a red flag may be that this person has kids and you ain't seen them communicate or see them yet while you've been dating them and you don't play that shit, okay? That could be a scenario we got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your unusual uh, from your usual type or expectation. So um, this person is trying to uh, keep an open mind about you um, with the psychic abilities popping up. Like I say, everybody that watches this video is not a psychic or may not be a psychic, but your intuition can definitely be high. Um, and you may be showing signs to this person on the outside looking in that something's more to you than just what the physical eye can see. Um, and this could be them realizing that anything can happen. Um, they may not have believed in that type of shit before um, they ran into you or had a conversation with you. But now they're wondering about the type of blessing they have in their hands, the type of woman they got or the type of man. 
that they have, okay? And with this, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. They're trying to keep an open mind on dealing with such spiritual energy or such person that's teaching them new things or speaking in new terms in different ways, okay? You're completely new to this new lover, um, this new person. Um, or like I said, you might not be psychic. You just may have a very intelligent mind or whatever you talk about really be having this person listen and they really listen to you. Um, and you could be free with this person. So somebody feel like you might be their soulmate and they didn't see they self ever dating a person like this. Um, or this could be your energy. All right. So this is what's on your person's mind. Um, take it how it resonates. Leave a comment. If it did resonate, love and light to you guys.